Hey everybody, this is Birch. Um, I've done videos with uh, mail. I, I don't, I, I probably, I don't know why I do. Uh, I've done videos with mails where people are, you know, challenging me in one form or another. I have people who challenge me from the, uh, I, you know, I don't even know what these sides are called anymore. The SJW side, the not SJW side. Um, I, I don't like the way SJW sounds. Like it doesn't roll off the tongue. It's not a great slogan. It, it, it winds up, this is uh, one of the things when I was uh, doing a lot with wrestling of, of uh, WWE or WWF. Uh, one thing I always hated was, you know, you get all lazy and sloppy and start calling it W. WWF. It just, it would, I, I just, it always irked me a little bit. Uh, but I've read these mails of people call it, you know, calling it, writing in like, Hey, Perch, you're not helping enough. Hey, Perch, you're a dickhead. Hey, Perch, you know, why don't you, you, you why do you hate comments? Hey, Perch, why don't you hate comments more, et cetera. Um, and they're, they're always kind of funny to point and laugh at. Um, but, you know, we do these videos anyway. It's been an interesting few years. Um, I've watched YouTube kind of change and morph. I'm always fascinated by uh, YouTube's vindictiveness. Uh, they will, if I complain about YouTube not paying uh, on time or just various kind of shenanigans they do, I notice that my uh, my views go down. And the content of my video is the same old shit it's always been. Uh, so maybe it's a coincidence, but every single time, and I've done little tests over the years to see, so I'm just like a scientist, I'm curious. And I'm, I'm positive they, uh, you know, they suppress me in search hits and other things at different times, and then, you know, I come back up. Um, it is clear to me in some cases that YouTube does promote an agenda. Uh, if I talk about topics kind of refuting some of the, um, you know, like uh, the, the if basically, uh, if I if I point out areas where there is a liberal bias, I will notice that YouTube will promote that video more. What gets me is I know you can do AI and algorithms and other things, but it still seems crazy to me that it's detailed enough to to look into those levels. It's just it's surprising to me. Uh, but, you know, I do these videos. Um, I've taken a lot of the money to come to these videos and uh, donated them to shops and to Boys Girls Club. Increasingly, I'm, I'm putting the money there. I don't mind putting the money towards shops, but, you know, you never know quite what's going to happen to the money you donate to a shop or you give to a shop. So um, giving it to the Boys Girls Club and encouraging them to create libraries and, and uh, things, it's, it's, uh, it makes me feel good. You can call it cheesy all you want, uh, but it does make... Uh, I don't know. I go home feeling better because as a kid, I like to read books, read comics and, uh, you know, and, and so the more I can encourage that, the better that's, uh, that's good. Some, some evil capitalist part of me, you know, knows that if we get these kids hooked on comics in 10 years from now, they'll be customers of mine. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but it's still a, it's still a cool thing to do. Um, but the videos, uh, are often, you know, well, not often, always kind of one way things I talk and, the material goes out there. Sometimes I piss people off because I'm not on their side enough or I'm on their side too much or, or various kind of dumbassery. Uh, so I got this mail and I thought I'd read it to you because it's, um, it's tough. Um, it says, uh, thank you. Okay. I lost a friend last night to gun violence, likely over a drug dispute, but it's still too soon to know. And I just wanted to say your videos today helped me get out of a dark place. Your words are really encouraging when I feel doubtful about the things I hold dear. It's bullshit the way the world works, but you have made a difference, even though you're too humble to admit it. Much love to you and yours. Thanks again, Sir Perchington. So what do you what do you do with a mail like that? Uh, it's ter it, I mean, it's terrible. Um, it's a lot of senseless, violent, senseless stuff. I mean, one of the things that I find myself thinking about a lot is I, you know, the, the, the worst times in my life, the times when things have gone wrong, uh, the times when I've been, you know, the, the, there's been some tragedy, something, it's always a surprise. It's a sucker punch. Uh, I've had friends who, you know, they have the kind of family members who have, you know, battled cancer for, for decades or, or just, just, well, I mean, not decades, but, but many years. And, you, you know, they see it coming. They have time to prepare for everything bad that's happened in my life. Um, it's never been like that. It's always like, you know, I'm, I'm going down it's, and I almost feel inside my head that I let my guard down. And when I think about it later, I, like you let your guard down and something awful happened. And that's, uh, that's how it, it's how it feels a lot. That's terrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. You lost your grip. 
um, it's uh, that the, the hell of, of a lot of the you know gun violence that does happen in the U.S. Because I know I have a lot of listeners outside. Is that it, it's it it is so senseless, and it it feels to me when I hear about people proposing solutions, always like it's it's bad faith arguments. It's like, well, let's just take away all the guns. Well, okay, you know, look, if if you could successfully actually do that, that probably would be not a bad idea. But the problem is there's no way you can successfully do it. So what what are you left with? What is the what's the backup plan? And I don't know about others, but for me, I'm always like, I, I want to hear ideas, but I want to hear like, okay, so if your idea doesn't work, then what? You know, what it what is the recovery plan? If you uh, work in the software industry, there's a, a job in a position called risk assessment. And that's where you're supposed to think of the ways the project can go wrong and how you would recover from that. And it's a, uh, I would say it's a tough job because you, you, you're you overly negative. People don't love you because you're the person who's going to come in and point out where things are bad and where things are going to fail. Um, but the the importance of it is is how, how you recover. This is... Um, you know, higher level thought than what a lot of people want to deal with. Um, I, I don't know how to solve gun violence. I mean, Christ, I, I'm wholly inequipped to deal with, to come up with that solution. Uh, but it is, look, it is a problem. It, it absolutely is. And no, this video is not trying to spark a debate on, on gun violence, but I, I've hopefully everybody can agree that there's too much of it. There just is. Look, yeah, more people do die from uh, car accidents than gun violence, I believe. Uh, but still, there's too much. But how you solve that, I, it's going to require people who are you know, serious people, people who are you know, able to sit down and really focus on the problem and, and kind of lay aside whatever kind of petty political agendas they might have in order to get to you know, offering up suggestions for how we wrap our hands around this. But it won't be easy. None of this is easy. Um, I'm going to make one of the worst pivots of all time right now. I, the same thing is true with comics. Solving comics isn't easy. Look, even if uh, you know, even if you're all in on agendas and uh, and this is all a big plot, um, it's it's still you know it's not as easy as just well stop plotting, stop stop coming up with those agendas. It's there's so many little things. That's the big summary to comics. There's so many pieces to it that are, you know, broken or, or need repair or, you know, are just, just wrong. And so, you know, we all desire, it's, all, it's, a, it's, a, it's a kid in us. We all desire an easy solution. Works, unfortunately. Um. I didn't. I don't make these videos to try and and um, make any kind of difference. I, I find the idea somewhat absurd. I, I know that there's people who who do. They they're you know they they do their channels you know out of a sense of of wanting to you know they have an agenda. My agenda is is a is a boring agenda. My agenda is entertain myself while I'm driving, put some stuff out, have some conversations where I can. I've jokingly said I don't read the comments anymore. No, I still read the comments. Um, you know, I, 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 it's interesting the little cast of characters has developed over time. Um, you know, come on back, Mumbles. Where are you? But, um, I, you know what? I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry you lost your friend. And um, if my shitty words here, um, my kind of incoherent rambling at times helped uh, you know, distract or, or get you through that, then, um, I'm, I'm honored and grateful. But, uh, for the rest of us listening right now, not the video you thought you were going to hear, um, you know, go out there, try and, uh, try and help somebody out today. Okay. Just uh, give it a shot and, and helping somebody out doesn't mean spend hours and hours of your time. Just, you know, maybe if you're pissed off while you're getting your coffee at Starbucks, just, uh, don't take it out on the barista. Even though the barista's got like he, she, he, she, them on their name tag. And you're like, I have no idea what to do with that. That's that. Oh, pick, pick a lane. <laughs> try, uh, just try, try just one dead good thing today. All right. And, uh, thanks, uh, 
Thanks for listening. Thanks for everything you do. 